Hi guys, it's Deva reading. This volume is called 1000 Years of Loneliness. Its description reads, The beginning of the Springvale Hunter's tragic fantasy journey. Where did misfortune first befall him? What marks the start and the finish of the thousand years journey of loneliness? Let this first volume of 1,000 Years of Loneliness be your guide through the fantastical fog that is the life of Godson. And it reads as follows. Many years later, when Godson's ankle would become trapped in the same unlucky bee strap he had laid, he must have recalled the afternoon when his father had taken him into the city to take part in Ludi Harpistum. Hardson's whole life was, without a doubt, unfortunate, but he could never quite recall when his misfortunes had begun. He spent most of his childhood in Springvale, under the protection of the Spring Fairy. Indeed, all the hunters lived peaceful and carefree lives. When Gothson was seven, seven summers old, his father took him to Mondstadt to watch the circus at Ludi Harpiston. This was the first time that Gothson had entered the city in his life. He was spellbound by the aromas of sweets and roasted meats, the brilliant lights and colored paper, the clowns who trained wild boars, and the magicians and their tricks. In his dazzling childhood memories, Gothson dimly saw his father walking into the reveling crowds, passing through an archway marked with the words, Pile em up contest, and slowly moving further away from him. But his attention was drawn to the shining fairy of the spring. Perhaps he came to understand in his later years that the spirit at the festival was no more than an actor paid 20 more a day. But in his young mind, that sight was always one full of fantastical imagination. Gothson was lulled to sleep by the spring fairy's stories, and, and far abroad did he wander and adventure in his boundless dreams. In, the, in an adventurer's dream, he saw ribbon rainbow jam poured forth from the mouth of an ancient relief. Godson was about to step up and partake of it when his dream was shattered by the sounds of a fracas. Run! His father's panicked, pudgy face smeared all over with the fruit juice and meat sauce dominated his vision. Over his shoulder, Godson could see a towering stack of roasted meat under a glowing red light, tottering and trembling as it bent his way amid the horrified cries of the crowd. In his flight, Godson's father knocked a fat lady over and threw his own hip. At once, he fell, his full weight collapsing upon his son. Then the leaning tower of roasted meat collapsed to echoing screams. The Knights of the Flavonius took three days to finally clear up the roast meat, vegetables, food items, and other odds and ends that had been scattered all around the square. Not to mention carry off those who'd gotten a little too out of their gourds. From then on, they were forced to declare all future Ludi Harpistums would have to be held outside the city. Thus did Godson's house lose two hunters and gain two sick people in the space of one night. What did they get for it? A gold-plated champion's medal, two days late to boot.